Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, and rabbits, and welcome. We're off to hit a car boot sale. It's a Sunday, it's early. Means one thing, one thing only, car boot sale time, baby. Lovely jubbly. So yes, I'm a UK eBay reseller living here in sunny England. And we go and buy stuff as cheap as possible and sell it on eBay for as much as possible. So follow us today and see what bargains we find. Tell you what, I'm not a morning person whatsoever. How much got you? Xbox Max? 70. 70. Oh, that's a shame. They're absolutely decked. How much you got on that rab coat? <clears throat> How much is the coat? 25. 25. Is it 12? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How much you got on them? Oh, um, 8, 20, 8, 20 there. 20, yeah. How much you got your DVD player, mate? Oh, All right, boys. You're all right. You're kidding me, all right. Okay, yeah. Still going. She's wearing them rubber. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How much is that, bud? That lad. Yeah. Uh, How much got your shoes? Not yeah, five. Huh? Mm -hmm. Take them, please. How much got your burger? Ten. Ten. How much got them, mate? Eight. How much the shoes, Liz? Seven pounds. These ones, yeah. Yeah. Cool. How much got these shoes, mate? Like? That's right. No worries. Ten. Ten. Tell you what, it's just not my day. Someone just beat me to them shoes. Bye. <laughs> How much got the shoes? Um, six. How much got your trainers, mate? Yeah, 20. 20. How much these ones? Ten. How much got the uh, big truck, Junior? Two. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. How much got the knee brace? Two. Two. Yeah, I'll take that, please. Thank you. How much got these ones? Twenty one. Are these for snowboarding, mate? Yeah. 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 More for pads, really. Um, unless you've got any of the pleats. Yeah. Yeah. Good point, actually. You know what? I haven't started them off. We buy all the stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was just thinking of the being three. Oh no, it's a few ones in there. All of the stuff got shoved in one box. Uh, yeah, we'll take that for 20, mate. How much have you got on the Walkman, mate? Sorry. How much on the Walkman? How much on the Walkman? Uh, Walkman, mate. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you. How much have you got on the Yeah. How much have got that, mate? A tenner. A tenner. Okay, thank you. I'll put it back. Yeah, not enough meat on the bone on them. How much have you got on this, bud? 15. 15. Yeah. How much are these, mate? Uh, three quid, lad. Yeah, I'll take them. Thank you. How much you got them? Pardon? How much are they? Twenty. Twenty. They're brand new. They're yeah. good, aren't they? What are they? Twenty. <coughs> what are they? Twenty. <coughs> <coughs> I'm no expert in this. I'll have a think. I'll have a think about that. So, yeah, I just bought a metal detector. Seems to be a decent brand as well. How much you got your bank, is that, mate? Uh, I'll take three quid on it. Yeah, we'll take that. Excuse me, mate. How much got on your wheeze as well there? That boxer. Yeah. That boxer there, mate. What is either just two consoles? Yeah. 20 quid for the two, alright? Or. Will be a place to make an offer? Uh, it's, it's only got the power, so it's not got any of the. Yeah. I mean, considering I gave away all my gaming stuff to Jack the other day, yeah. I bought five Nintendo Wii's. What am I doing? Sometimes you just have to adapt. And then in this car boot, a lot of the trainers go quite quickly. So if you're not there at the time, you've got no chance. So it's all about adapting when it goes, when you get to a car boot. How much you got the VHS, mate? Two quid. Yeah, man. <laughs> all right, Laurie. I think we have to. And I think we've done that to a T. Wow, wow, wee wow. A nice full car load of the good stuff. We're now off to get some food. I believe there's a new wood fired pizza place here as well, so we're gonna go and try that out. How much got the scuba pins, mate? Five, whatever Five. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go back to the car, get some money out. Because literally, the last few items that we picked up, we have to go through the car boot to get back to the car from the pub, and we're just finding bangers after bangers. These. These should be about 50, 60 quid. How much you got the Blu ray? Which on just the player, this one here. Just the DVD. Yeah. Just the tenor, but I'll keep the boots of them for 
Okay. That, yeah. Well, I've just bought a new TV. I think, I think I'll get killed if I went off. Yeah. Right, we're officially done in today's car boot. So we're going to get home, unload everything, tell you how much we paid for it and how much we're looking to get back on eBay. Yeah, a bit of a slow start, but we've absolutely smashed it, I think. We've got a full, full, full car load. Complete and utter randomness. We've got box shoes. We've got VHS players. We've got some scuba diving stuff. We've got well, a bit of everything. So we're going to get home and I'll show you exactly what we got. We have made it back, ladies and gentlemen. Right, what I'm going to do first is, because we bought five Nintendo Wiis today, about 30 quid, which is absolutely bargaining, with all the wires and a few controllers and a few bits and pieces, I think what we need to do is flip the camera around and see if there's any special bonus discs inside. Because let's be honest, that is the best thing about buying game and stuff, right? is to see, especially Wii's, is to see if there is a bonus game inside. So, flip the camera around, let's see if we've got any cheeky little bonuses. And here they all are. Nintendo Wii number one, have you got a secret disc inside? Yes it does. And it's Resident Evil 4. Interesting. Nintendo Wii number two, has it got a special disc inside? No. Nintendo number three, have you got a secret disc inside? Yes it does. Oh, ho, ho. easy peasy, lemon money. Wii Sports, lovely jubbly. Wii console number four, have you got a special disc inside? Oh, very nice, Wii Sports Resort. Gee. Come on, the last one, come on. Please have a disc inside. It doesn't sound too promising. No. Well, we tried. Hey. I'll take three games out of five Wii's for sure, especially that Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort. You know, there's 15 quid there back already, which is always nice. And if I'm being honest, it doesn't bother me that some of these don't have the white flaps because I have replacement Nintendo Wii flaps. So I can just put them on there now and then it will help sell them. So it looks something like that. Right, that's the fun bit done. Let's sit down and record the haul. I can tell you now, ladies and gentlemen, that we've got some amazing little pieces. Something a little bit different. I haven't really picked much up apart from footwear in the last, what, 12, 16 months. So today's haul is very different. Obviously there's a fair few trainers, but we've actually gone down the electronic route and we've brought some medical stuff. We've brought some random stuff today. So yeah, let's sit down and I'll show you exactly what we picked up and how much we're looking to get back on the wonderful E to the Bay. We have made it home. What a car boot. Absolutely love that car boot. It was a bit slow at the start, and I had to adapt and pick up random stuff because if I didn't, then I wouldn't really be picking up anything. However, that being said, we spent a whopping £260. One of the biggest car boots that we've ever done in, well, in this year, I think. Um, but where do we start? We picked up a load of stuff, a load of different stuff, a load of random stuff, a bit of this and a bit of that. So what we're going to do is crack on with it. And without further ado, smash that like button and let's get straight into the hall. So we're gonna fact start with the potential item that I'm actually gonna keep. I think I am gonna keep a Patagonian, big embroidered sort of logo, spell out, cap. It's beaut, I've wanted one since I went to Chicago. So uh, I think I'm gonna keep that. But if I was to resell it, probably about 25 quid. We then picked up four pairs of Levi's and Levi's are very, very bread and butter items for us. So we always pick them up if the price is right. I wouldn't pay any more than seven pounds per pair, which is pretty good because I think we got the majority of these for about four, well, within four to seven quid, so it's there or thereabouts. But I would 501s sell themselves. We've got a couple of 501s here, easy peasy, 25 pound each. So that bundle here, probably looking at about a hundred quid. So we've picked up some trainers as usual. Here we have a pair of Adidas Oswegos, another pair of Adidas Oswegos, and you guessed it, things come in three here. Uh, another pair of Adidas Oswegos. They are all women's size, so monetary value, probably looking at about 20 to uh, 25 pound each, I'd say. They are in okay condition. Um, they're not in the best condition, but overall, they will sell for around about the £25 mark. Um, 
nice easy bread and butter items always be on the lookout for adidas oswegos so there's 75 pound back from just three pairs of trainers and then we also picked up a pair of nike react infinity fly knits these are in really nice condition plenty of life left look at that ready to list in fact they're absolutely beautiful they are uk size eight and a half uh my size to be fair well eight and a half nine they are nice really nice color uh, they should be about 30 to 35 pound. So yeah, definitely on the lookout for Nike React Fly Knits. There's definitely a lot of money to be made with these. We've got some more trainers now. We've got a pair of Android Home, which is a Los Angeles brand. Look at that. We don't tend to pick this brand up too often because I'm not 100% sure on the legitimacy of a pair of these, but these were cheap enough for me to take the punt i think these were a few quid if that so i thought i'd take the punt and learn a little bit more about this brand uh but if it, they are legit which they could be they are very very heavy they're good quality then you could be think looking at at least like what 50 quid plus uh it is a phenomenal brand uh this brand is in places like flannels for like rrp like 180 odd quid so there's definitely going to be some sort of resale value however i need to sort of just double check on legitimacy but when the price is right i don't mind taking the punt because at the end of the day it's all about learning in this industry and the more you can learn the more money you can make in the future a brand of nike and a submodel of nike that i pick up quite often these are a pair of vapor maxes really nice condition obviously i say it time and time and time again but it's so important just to check the bubbles to make sure they are intact because if they are popped then you'll lose significant value that being said these seem to be in really good condition they are a uk size four four is probably the lowest of the sizing that i will buy because i just find that they are the let's say the harder so the lower the size the harder they are to sell but these should sell quite comfortable for about 30 quid and again it's that brand again android home uh, again these are pretty cheap so i thought i'd take the punt and pay for my learning and just see what is what at the end of the day you're only going to learn what things are real etc if you just take the punt if the price is right you might as well do it so again if these are legit uh should be again easy 50 to 80 quid we have a pair of Nike Pegasus. These are very, very bread and butter. Again, really good condition. Very, very, very highly desirable. Um, quite a lot of runners do use these as their sort of everyday running trainers. They're a UK size five, so a perfect size for women. That is probably the perfect size, I'd say. UK five is the most average size of a woman's pair of shoes. So they shouldn't last too long. They should list for about 25 quid. We then have a pair of air cooled memory foam sketches. Um, don't tend to pick too many sketches up now because I'm trying to up my ASP. But that being said, these are in phenomenal condition. Look at these. These are literally ready to list. They've had hardly anywhere uh, and they're perfect. They sell themselves. Sketches are still very expensive RRP. So there's still a slight market for these. I used to be able to sell sketches all day long for like 25 quid, like really nice and easy bread and butter item. Uh, but now they've probably dropped to about 18 to 20 quid. So that being said, I still think I should push for the 25 pound mark because of the condition and just see what happens. You can always come down in price. You can't go the other way. So aim high and accept offers, promote the listings and all that good stuff. And that should be a nice, easy 20 to 22 pound. Right, the next three items are something slightly different and then we'll go back to some trainers or some clothing. We've picked up a big track junior. This isn't the original one. This is a remake to 2010. That being said, it's brand new inside. And it's, I tell you what, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Like a brand new big track. I know it's like 2010, 2014, there or thereabouts. It might even be 2012, uh, but I know it's not original. So, that being said, it's still worth 30 quid. And I think I caught it on camera. I paid like three quid, which is ridiculous. Um, the big track name one that I sold recently, sold to one of you guys, and that sold really quickly. So uh, I'm hoping this will do the same. It's cute, the box is in really good condition, and it's brand new. So yeah, should be an easy peasy 30 pound. 
We then took a punt on these two items and it was dirt cheap. It was £5 for the pair. We have a Sony Walkman DEJ 775 and then we also have a Sony Walkman FX920 which is like a cassette radio player. And then we have the headphones which she chucked in with the cassette and the headphones itself seems to hold a decent amount of value. We have actually tested absolutely everything and it works, which is absolutely crazy. As soon as I said that, I don't know what's happened here. I think they just slide over the top of each other. Yes, they do. Oh, I thought I broke something live on camera, but this is fully complete with Manuel and it's little sort of thing that you connect to it so you can skip songs and turn the volume up from your pocket sort of thing. That is fully tested and working, fully complete. That being said, bear in mind, these were £2.50 each, let's say. Uh, that should sell for about 50 to, well, maybe 50 quid, to be fair, which is absolutely crazy. And, talk about crazy, the headset itself has some serious, serious value if it's not broken, uh, they should be able to sell for about 30 quid, maybe 25, 30 quid, but they are awesome. Look at them, they are like proper old school, right? They should be 25, 30 quid. It's broke again. Maybe I need to have a look at that in a bit more oomph. And then the Walkman itself should sell for about 30 to 35 quid, maybe 30 quid, uh, 35, probably pushing a bit too much. I think Ricky Lee has actually sold this exact one. Uh, I think you got twenty nine ninety nine. So yeah, again, money is well safe with this little bundle. Five pound pay for all of that. Ridiculous. Oh well, we have a box of goodies. We've got a few Britons. We've got a few brats. We've got a few, a few everything really. Mythical creatures. We've got triple uh, A stuff. We've got Jurassic Park stuff. We've got more Britain's ELC stuff. We paid very, very, very minimal for this box of like goodies. Look at that. Oh, this, this is a master of pieces is dream. I bet Ian is crying his little heart out of this. Um, but uh, Triple A is a really vintage ELC stuff. Uh, Britain's, which is this stuff here, I believe, which is like the elephant bundle. Uh, we then have a mythical creature bundle, which is ELC. So we've got some unicorns, we've got some griffins, we've got some dragons, we've got some fire breathing dragons. We've bundled them up all very, very nicely. And then this was a little bit of a surprise, a little Jurassic Park, vintage Jurassic Park, 1997 Velociraptor. And that should be like 25, 30 quid alone. And uh, we paid what, five pounds for the box? and it's absolutely full of goodies. So, with that all being said, we have bundled them all into little lots, and we've put a quite comfortable listing value of a hundred pound. That's correct, a hundred pound just on these toys, which is crazy. And then, the brats, which were, these are three best ones, this one being the best one, we should be able to bundle them up together and aim for 25 quid, so, we really cannot grumble at that. That's £125 in that little red box. Which, if you think about it, we spent 260 so nearly half our money back in that box, which is crazy. Oh, yeah, I thought I'd mention the elephant in the room. Thierry Henry's birthday of time and recording, so I thought I'd pay homage to the legend and have his shirt hanging there with us today, going through the car food stuff. Oh, wow, I've been swamped with some more stuff. We've got a D squared uh, cap. I'm 99% sure that it's legit. Um, lovely tag. Look at that beautiful, beautiful tag. Uh, Dean and Dan, Caden D squared 2. I'm not going to keep this because I, don't, I only sell one sort of suit, one pair, one type of hat, and that's in like American trucker hats. Uh, this should be... Uh, about 35, 40 quid. Uh, so definitely be on the lookout for D squared. Uh, but just be wary because they are heavily, heavily faked. So you need to be 100% sure you're happy with the legitimacy of the item. But 40 quid, happy days. Sticking with hats, we have an Adidas tailor-made sort of visor. So you'd wear it something like this. Probably doesn't fit my head. 
and it's just quite a comfy hat for golfers. They will sell quite comfortably for 15, 20 pound until about October-ish time when the golf season finishes, and then you probably will struggle to sell some of this stuff unless it's brand new and someone's buying it for Christmas or whatever. But it should be a nice, easy £15 listing there. We picked this up with a metal detector. I think we paid £10 for this and the metal detector. So you could say this owes us five quid. This is a small North Face Parker, which is beautiful. It's got a clip belt, which is really nice. It's high vent, which is also really nice. And in the sort of winter time, we should be able to reach about 45 55 pound for that because of the size if it was a bigger size we could probably reach a tiny bit more but i think conservatively 40 pound i think north face brand in general on ebay has come down a little bit in price so yeah just bear that in mind if you are picking up north face stuff one of the bargains of the day are these pair of Isabel Morant Atolis or Atoli or I don't really know what the sub model of this but it's kind of like a hidden wedge uh, a 12 apparently a 12 uh, anyway enough of that I'm 99% sure that these are legit I've talked about this before in one of my videos Isabel Morant uh, has come down in price as well but to know to things to notice and things to look out for if you are buying something very very similar to this is this right this has got this sole this is a perfect sole for isabel morant sometimes you find ones that are completely flat these are slightly raised like speed bumps in a road that's the best way i can describe it these are literally speed bumps in a middle of a road so thing to look out for uh, thing to look out for is if the European size has a circle around it, then please stay away. 99% of the legitimate ones will have a sort of imprint of the European size without a circle. That's what you want to be looking out for. The insole, I'm not going to be able to show you too much, but it needs to be nice and thick and it needs to say Isabel Morant and whatever that submodel is. I'm not going to try and say it again because I butchered it the first time. And it needs to be in a very nice italic -y kind of font. But there are three things to mainly look out for. Uh, what another one also is the stitching. So a lot of the fakes will only have single stitch lines. These have double stitch lines running throughout the shoe. I'm trying to showcase it as best as possible with the current lighting. But you can see here that they are double double stitched. So. Basically, there's two lines of stitchings running throughout the whole shoe. Fake ones only have a single stitch line. So they're the four main ways of telling if an Isabel Morant shoe is fake. Hope you did like that, actually, that little segment there. But yeah, these should be, pay three quid. He did that thing where he took it off my hand and went, hmm, oh, yeah, um, three quid. I thought he was going to say like 30 quid or something, but three quid was an absolute steal. Should be able to get about 60 to 80 pound back from them. So absolutely beautiful, beautiful find. A pair of Nike Air Force One sort of camel colour. They are UK 8. However, unfortunately, we didn't really see the damage. Don't ask us how we didn't see this, but it is what it is. So... Again, didn't pay too much. I was not not too bothered about it, but um, obviously that is going to affect the value of the trainers. I still think we should be able to get about 25 quid, 30 quid, maybe 25 pound on Vinted. Uh, you can sell anything on Vinted, let's be fair. <laughs> so it might go on Vinted, it might go on eBay. We'll see what happens with them. But if they were in better condition, probably pushing 50, 60 quid on these because a cool colorway, desirable colorway as well, and uh, all one block color, which is really, really nice. Unfortunately, but uh, unfortunate that is, but it is what it is. We then have this Kenji plush. Kenji's a nice little uh, Japanese brand when it comes to plushes. There we have the badge, it says Kenji, really nice, really nice and soft. Uh, sold them quite well, they sell for like 15, 20 quid. So when they're only a quid, I'm always always you know tempted to pick them up but this one was just too too cute not to so one into 15 yes please you know when i said we picked up some random stuff well here is a prime example of that this is in fact a knee brace 
and it's from a brand called Breg T Scope, which is there as you can see. And uh, yeah, Google that, eBay that, and you will be pleasantly surprised. It shocks me to be honest. Um, she wanted two pound. I was not going to bargain off two quid. Uh, however, sales and strong sell through rate as well. Should be looking at about sixty to seventy quid, which is ridiculous. Um, if you find them in pairs, which a lot of people seem to sell them in pairs, but you can sell them in singles. Uh, people are getting like one hundred twenty quid, which is ridiculous. Uh, so definitely uh, be on the lookout for Breg T Scope knee braces. Random. But we freaking love it right and then we uh, have a really nice sort of tweed style sort of like it's just a plain jacket from smarts and sparks or saint michael's you know that sort of stuff no it's saint michael's marks and sparks pure new wool it's 100 percent wool obviously it's got the tweed style it's a nice khaki color and that should be a nice 30 quid in the winter. Uh, I think we paid seven pound for that. So yeah, not too bad. Nice bread and butter item and sell relatively quickly. We then have a Mammoth cap. That's a nice logo there. That should be again, nice, easy 15 to 20 pounds. So yeah, if you ever see that logo, especially on walking boots, uh, definitely be on the lookout for that. That on walking boots, that little logo there on a pair of walking boots, sorry. Uh, you should be able to, yeah make mega money caps not so good but still were profitable at well at, at the end of the day so yeah pretty good we then have a ping power for golf putter it has seen better days on the shaft the shaft is a lot well, a little bit rustier than i would like however it was a ping putter with a matching ping grip for five quid so i should be able to get about 30 pound if it was in better condition probably 40 but the head of the club is actually in really good condition so that's kind of what swayed it to me some people actually just sell the head of a golf club on ebay um but i think i'm gonna try and sell it as complete like i said i wish it had a little bit less rust on the shaft but uh it should still sell for about 30 quid we then had a pair of Timberland sort of like light blue boots. They're really nice. Paid five pound. They've got like a canvas bottom. Uh, and soles are in really good condition. Plenty of life left. It's got a really nice turquoise blue colour. Uh, UK size seven, I believe she said they were. No, I completely made that up. Ten point five. Uh, they are massive. I didn't think they were seven. Which is, I don't. I can't remember. Anyway. Well, it is what it is. It should be a nice 30 quid there or thereabouts. We then have two times two of these IKEA compliments, which are runners for a basket. Um, we're unsure on the value, but because they were so cheap, I think they were a pound a pack. So we've got two packs, a nice, easy multi listing. I'd like to say quite easily 15 pound per one. So that's 30 pound from two quid, which isn't too shabby. Uh, I tend to pick up pretty much Oh, well, I at least research in the field everything to do with IKEA because I think there's a lot of value in IKEA and I still stand by it. IKEA is actually probably one of the biggest bolos I've ever let slip. Um, yeah, IKEA, £15 minimum each, I would like to think. And we've got two there for three quid. Here it is. Here's the kids' metal detector. We paid £2.50. Uh, no, we didn't. We paid £5. I can't remember. This was only the other day. We paid £5 for this. This is a kid's metal detector from the brand Dr. Ottech. Um, decent brand. If you can find these in men's and adults and women's and whatever, um, they can go for three figures, which is crazy. The kid's one, probably looking at about 40 quid. It, it does work. I've had a little go of it in the garden and I found a nail. That's about as good as my garden gets, really. We found some old rusty nails, but it proves that this does actually work. And it does kind of fold down to a nice size for packaging. So yeah, five pound should be, what, 40 quid? Oh, these are heavy. These are proper, proper flippy floppies, right? These are scuba diving stuff by the Scuba Pro Jetfin Company, which looks a little bit like that if you can see that in the camera these are proper proper we paid i think five pound for these and because they are the the you know the dogs you know 
they should sell very, very nicely for what, 50, 60, pushing 70 quid. Um, I did say to the guy that they just need a little clean and then they'll look good. But then I re remembered that they're just going to go in water anyway. So they kind of like clean themselves once they're being used. We will obviously wipe them down for listing. But uh, yeah, proper, proper scuba diving stuff. Sells pretty well looking on eBay, but definitely be on the lookout for that brand there. And uh, hopefully they'll sell relatively quick. I'll tell you what, they're probably like, you're probably pushing like two to three kilos just on that. That's crazy, right? I'm gonna try and show you this and go as quickly as possible, but I wanna kind of keep it in its polystyrene so it comes easy to package. But this is a three pound, that is correct, a three pound bar, was it three pound? Yeah. yeah, three pound banker's lamp. That is crazy, right? It's brand new. I think it's a modern one, but that still being said, because it's brand new and it's packaging, I should be able to get 40 quid, but a three pound banker's lamp. All day long taking that, right? That's ridiculous. That, in fact, like, that is actually ridiculous, isn't it, when you think about it? Three quid for a brand new item. Thank you very much. And the fact it comes in its own box, ready to like, obviously it needs a bit of reinforcement, but hey, easy peasy. Hey, I said random stuff and I'm sticking by it. Here we have a Sony Smart Engine. This is the SLV SE820. Uh, these used to sell really, really well a couple of years ago. Um, hopefully it is working. It has, does need a bit of a, a bit of a scrub up. Um, but, if it does work, should we have to give out 40 quid for this? And it's funny because we picked this up as we were walking back from our pizza. We had to walk through the car boot and we only had like a few quid to our name. And we managed to pick up a Sony Smart Engine VHS player, maybe like four or five hours into the car boot, which is crazy because this used to be a reseller's dream. Uh, if working, 40 quid, if not, 20 quid. I think this is in fact the biggest buy of the day, as in monetary value. I think we spent 20 pound on a pair of brand new Uggs. They are the brand uh, model Felicity, but they are brand new with the dust bags and all the original packaging, completely never been worn. They have a really nice suede, sharp top, beautiful sort of wedge, UK size, I don't have a clue, six, I think. Um, so decent women's size, brand new. It's ticking all them right boxes. We are in fact, whether you like it or not, coming into Q4, which is scary to think, considering it only felt like yesterday that we were in Q1. But UGG, Australia, winter boots, I've got to say maybe pushing a hundred pound, like 20 to a hundred pound is the reason why we did pick these up, because we do think we are gonna be able to push a very nice value for this and the box is freaking massive again as we're walking back from the pizza we fell into another blu-ray player this is a 3d blu-ray player i do believe i might have just made that up i think i've just made that up um but it comes complete with its remote which is always nice adds a little bit of value and um we should be able to get 60 quid for that uh i don't really know what's special about it i think it's because I think it says it's a 4K Blu-ray, but I can't see where. But I just Googled and eBayed the model number and it told me the price. So yeah, happy with that. £10 paid, by the way. 10 into 60, happy days. We've only got a few items left, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to start off with a pair of Versace jeans. These should be okay. I do, again, need to do a little bit more research. UK okay, size waist 34. They should be a nice chunk of change. I'm not going to put value on them just yet because I do want to see if they're legit. Uh, I don't deal too much in Versace jeans, but it can't be too hard, right, to find uh, what, uh, to find if they're real or not. Uh, if the worst comes to worst, we'll have to pester the one and only luxury pickers. A pair of Vivian Westwoods. These sell all day long. They are called Melissa's. They have the beautiful Vivian, beautiful, beautiful bespoke sign there. Look at that. Do love that. They should be, again, a nice easy 25, 30 quid. Probably one now to loft because by the time we get around to it, it will probably be Q1, Q2. So I'm going to loft them ready for next summer, I do believe. 
we then have a pair of like really nice pair of kickers these sell all the time because they're very well for they go very well for school shoes a lot of kids wear them now um they're pretty good condition to be fair and they should be like again another 25 30 quid all day long and a beautiful beautiful brand new with tags phase eight dress rrp 80 quid which is ridiculous and they again should sell very very comfortable i sell used phase eight dresses for 25 quid so brand new one should be what 35 40 quid it's a nice sort of palm style dress it's got really nice print it's beautiful happy days paid very very minimal again should be what 35 quid thank you very much Henri. and the last item but certainly not the least because we I mean, this is probably one of the best buys we've done in a, in a long time. I'd not, I say not best, but like, it's just cool to find. Like, you don't find that much gaming stuff in the world, right, in a car boot. We picked up five Nintendo Wii's. And as you saw previously, we've tested them all. And some of them had hidden discs, which is beautiful. We picked up five Wii's, all complete, ready to list. And we picked them up for like 30 quid. That being said, right, they've all got, a, we can bundle them up with a game and the wires and we should be able to get like £35 per bundle, right? So that's five times that you're looking at like, what, 170 quid there or thereabouts? So money is definitely safe with that. I just couldn't believe my luck. Five of Nintendo Wii's for 30 quid at a car boot that is rammed and probably one of the busiest car boots I've ever been to in my life. And the fact that they were still there. It's crazy. I know it's just a Wii, it's nothing too exciting, it's not like an N64 or GameCube, but it's nice bread and butter gaming stuff. Like, I do like listing them. I know I've said I've come off the gaming side of things, but I think it's just the games. I'm not going to list the games if I find consoles, and I'm just going to bundle some games with it. Obviously, if I find games that are worth more than a tenner, I will list them separately. But in this case, it's literally one game each, one console each. Complete set, ready to go, should be able to get £35. That, guys, is the end of the haul. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think your favourite pickup was, what you think the worst pickup is as well. I'd like to know both worst and favourite pickup of today's video. Leave that in the comment section below. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so, so much for spending, what, 30 minutes of your life watching me talk about tap that I found in a car boot sale. Thank you guys for watching. Before you go, please do subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 7,000 subs, which is crazy to say. And do you know what is crazy to say as well? Like, it's mad to think that over 2,000 people watch a video every single day of mine. Like, 2,000 of you guys are watching me. Honestly, I feel so, so, like, well, I don't know. It's weird. It's, it's an amazing feeling. Like, thank you guys so much for watching. I do honestly appreciate every single one of you that takes the time. And I love you all. And I'll see you beautiful lot in the next one. Bish, bash,